Hello beautiful Aries and welcome to your March 2022 reading. Um, today I'm going to be channeling a message for you guys from Spirit um, for your March 2022. Uh, February for you guys with my readings was about forgiveness. That was the theme and that was accentuated by your chakra card um, by enlightenment. So th this was about strengthening 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 your relationships and um and i hope that's been really moving forward for you guys that your relationships are being strengthened right now um so i kind of try and go along the same energy of my previous readings and if so if you like my readings please like and subscribe by hitting the notifications bell, you'll get your um, notification when your next reading is up. Uh, so I'm just wanting to tap in for my beautiful Aries now to Spirit for their March 22 reading. Also, don't trust. So... I'm also going to be attaching your February reading in the description box below for you guys. So you can just check in with that if you hadn't seen it before. So trust, I'm still feeling a lot of relationship things going on for you guys. Trust in relationships. Um, you know, that your connections have been um, positive and have been manifesting for you. Uh, there still might be some trust issues. You have the number 31. Number 4 is all about stability. So you might want to look up that angel number 4 or 31. Um, I'm safe. I'm secure in love. I trust my faith endures. So I'm seeing for you guys that you're reforming your focus um, about your dreams and wishes in relationships. Um, and I see things are still kind of manifesting for you in your relationships now to have the best and truest um, sort of relationships. Spirit is saying that to help you with this trust in people Surround yourself with people who share things in common with you. This connection will help you develop your trust, creativity, and um, move you forward on your new enlightenment, on your new path of enlightenment. Um, there might be someone there that you can be your mentor that will help you, help teach you um, the new things about this the state of awakening that you find yourself in. So just trust in that, let go, trust. And um, I, I did feel that, you know, you need to tap into spirit on a daily basis will help you in your intuition and knowing who to open yourself up to and trust in your life. Um, okay, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and spit, pick your spirit animal. for this month. Okay, you guys got two spirit animals. So I'm seeing this as, I think the vulture represents fire and dolphin is water. So this is a very awakened animal, this dolphin. And I don't know much about the vulture. I've never pulled this card before. So I'm gonna go ahead and read a little bit about these two from the uh, book. So vulture, I feel like, let's see what it says. Like I said, I am feeling Okay, vulture, of course, is air, not fire. So air and water. So vultures, by nature, are, you know, they, they clean up the world, you know, of the things that are not desirable. So in a sense, 
they are about purifying. You know, they, they're cleaners of our world. And, you know, sometimes we look at them as being a part of death. But um, for this, they are the guardian of purification. And they are essential to help you rebalance your life. The vulture is perhaps the most misunderstood creature of all. This intriguing bird balances our ecosystem and prevents the spread of disease. It does the dirty work that no one else wants to do and cleans up our messes. The vulture appears when there's a situation that needs to be purified or brought back into balance. Remember, the vulture is greatly undervalued. What you thought was a mistake or a tragedy is a blessing in disguise. So, yes, I'm, I am seeing this as whatever that has led you to feeling like you can't trust a certain situation or a person relationship. This has helped you awaken and en enlightened you in your path and with people in your life. And um, you are becoming purified of that. You're going to be opening up yourself to this trust that you need and the dolphin is about that enlightenment this is a really enlightened creature this is an emotional creature this is an intelligent creature so with that purification with that blessing in disguise that you've experienced in your life let's go to the dolphin now innately intelligent a healer light and blessings the gifts of the dolphin are beyond what our human minds can grasp. Dolphin personalities are often drawn to the healing arts as they are sensitive to the subtle and, and the subtle and enjoy working on the level of spirit. It's easy for dolphin types to underestimate the impact they make in the world. These creatures play such an important role in the wheel of karma that coming in contact with a dolphin type may change the entire course of your day and thus your life. This card can also indicate a profound blessing on its way. When in balance, you're an active healer, strong in your spiritual practice. And so yes, I'm saying that tapping into your, the divine on a daily basis is gonna be so beneficial for you. Um, and when you're not in your balance, which Vulture is all about getting balanced here and purifying our lives. Um, when you're not in balance, you underestimate your own power. So you are a very powerful person, my beautiful Aries. And you also have the healer within you, what I'm seeing here with this dolphin. And you're, like I said, you're going to be bringing in connections into your life that you share things in common with that will help you on to your soul path. And this is gonna really, I'm, I'm feeling a mentor for you, or you're gonna be a mentor for somebody else, just depending on, you know, who's listening to this reading right now um, and whatever resonates for you. So this mentor could be coming into your life or you can be a mentor for others. So I'm just, that's, you're a light worker, a healer. But working on your trust is going to move you forward in that. You're going to have power if you can learn to trust more. Okay, so let's see what the Tarot of Spirit. Can you give us the cards for beautiful Aries and what they can expect in this March? Any other clarifications? I'm also feeling like when you go out and volunteer your time to an organization that shares your values, this is where you're gonna make those connections. Volunteering your time and giving of yourself and your time is the greatest gift that we can give is giving our time to others um, especially and if, uh, if you're strongly passionate about a certain cause, Spirit is saying with the dolphin that this is where new connections will be coming into your life. Okay, so far we have just one card that came out. Let's see what that's all about. So this is wish fulfillment, the nine of cups. You're having wishes coming true.
coming out slowly for you guys. You are the the magician, strong manifester. You can manifest your dreams. Tap into your magician. Your thoughts become your reality. So staying pure in mind is going to help you move forward and to be able to manifest the things that you want in your life. That is also, you know, dolphin energy right there, the magician tapping into the divine. Okay, and so then we have the five of pentacles, which is kind of a lacking mentality here. Let's see, like I said, just not valuing, not, not valuing your accomplishments here. This is the unbalanced energy of the dolphin is not valuing the things that you do every on a daily basis for others. Yes, okay. So this might be brought on by you feeling burdened and carrying the weight of others now, um, giving a little bit too much of yourself. To Spirit says to stay out of this mentality is to go within, rest, get enough sleep, a daily practice, meditation, tapping into the divine. This is just a reconfirmation uh, re a reconfirmation about all I've been saying about tapping into the divine. And this also may have to do with volunteering your time to stay out of this. When you volunteer your time, you're taking on the burdens of a, of a organization that may be um, in need that is calling to you now. And you don't want to, you, you've been avoiding perhaps doing it because you don't want to take on extra burdens in your life. But if you can start focusing on that daily practice, that meditation, that going within and making sure that you're getting enough rest for yourself, it's going to give you the energy to carry this forward and be the healer that you are. Any other clarifications for beautiful Aries for March, 2022? Also, um, for some, this can indicate that you've been in this meditative phase in your life. Um, and it's now it's time, it's t and because you've been through this, you've already come through this energy and you've rested and it's time to come out of hibernation. Um, but this may bring, this may bring in emotional energy issues that maybe haven't been dealt with yet so spirit is saying working on that trust piece um going into that purification mode in your life and trusting yourself um acknowledging your self-worth is going to help move you through any of those emotional problems tapping into spirit you are a healer. You can manifest anything in your life. Any other cards? I feel like there's one, at least one more card for my beautiful Aries, the tarot. Spirit, can you? I feel like that's the one. Actually, that one is too. Okay. All right. And you have the devil here. And these came out together. So the devil, can you see that? The devil and the eight of cups. So with the devil energy, I'm feeling like you have been your own worst enemy, perhaps in certain situations where you're sabotaging your, yourself with this kind of energy this feeling lackful, left out in the cold, taking on everybody's burdens and not having energy. Um, there may be some something that you're addicted to doing that is, you know, keeping you stuck. This could be something, a big addiction in your life or something small, like um, sitting down and watching hours and hours of television. I don't know why that came into my mind, but 
television or overeating, something where you are taking your emotions and just hiding them with this small addiction that you have, that you've been going through. And with the Eight of Cups coming up after the Devil, Spirit wants you to tap into that intuition and walk away from this. Um, because you're spiritually strong, you're tapping into your authentic self here. And he's going on a journey within and with also with this four of four of swords here i'm really feeling like going within cleansing yourself tapping into spirit again is going to help pull you through because you have wishes coming to you all your dreams and wishes are coming to you now and you can manifest them you are a manifester and a healer of others but there's this, this like, uh, feeling like you're on the outside. I don't think that you're like, you're in the mode of feeling like you don't have enough money or um, you're struggling with your finances at all. I'm thinking this is just like feeling like an outsider a little bit. And the reason why you feel like an outsider is because you are, you are, because you're a healer, you're the dolphin. And also this, this um, vulture is a misunderstood character. You know, we, we equate the vulture with kind of death and uh, destruction and eating dead things on the road and just dirty. But without him, without that vulture, without that dirty work being done, then disease and pestilence and um, rot is... Uh, is just left there to fester but you may be you may be embodied embodiment of both of these animals here and you have to sometimes do the dirty work but you are so needed to do that dirty work and that's probably why you've been feeling like this burden here um but acknowledge all you do the spirit of the dolphin is also here with you and even though you have the devil there, this is just a minor thing. This chains are loosely attached to these people. They think they're bound, but it's an illusion. And um, also, you know, be careful of any sort of manipulation that pe somebody might be giving you right now. Walk away from this toxic person. I'm feeling this for some people. So definitely you have the tools that you need. To get out of this okay and i'm gonna pick another little botanical oracle card here for you spirit can you give us a botanical oracle card to inspire aries what can help them move through any of this negativity that i'm seeing in their reading walk away what could help them walk away inspiration okay so with the violet I'm seeing to have faith to trust to be modest and let go of your ego modesty is a shining light that prepares the mind to receive knowledge and the heart for truth so to let go of that ego to have faith um, to be your authentic true self and speak the truth and come from that authentic place is going to help you through any of this dark negative energy that I'm seeing. Like I said, the chains are loosely bound on you. They're trapped only by an illusion of their mind, the manipulation of the devil or something that you're self-sabotaging um, yourself on. And this is this energy here. And not acknowledging the beauty of the things that you do on a daily basis for everybody else. Um, and then the yellow rose. So we're having some springtime energy here for you guys. And some summer and midsummer energy. 
We have enthusiasm and friendship. So like I said, I am seeing new relationships coming towards you and spirit wants you to trust in that, that you are safe and secure. You're being protected. Um, use your intuition, use your intuition, this inner, this going within to help you recognize and, and trust these new relationships coming to you. Um, a single rose can be my garden, a single friend, my world. So I'm not seeing a, a big group of people, a family, a, a soul family coming. I'm just seeing someone, just perhaps one person. And this is tied into this wish I'm feeling for you guys. Um, and remember, you're looking for somebody who shares your common values. And that's why I really believe that volunteering your time to an organization that shares your values is where you're going to be meeting this person that is going to carry you through on your spiritual enlightenment and um, help you get more into this dolphin energy, the magician energy, and tapping into knowing who you truly are and this will help ignite you and move you forward this march okay i'm going to also be reading some tea leaf fortunes for you guys just to get a little bit more information about what can be coming toward you in this coming march have two piles this is a huge pile so I want to at least get three tea leaf oracles for my beautiful Aries I'm feeling like that one's coming out and that one okay all right so we have love coming toward you casket we got four here Casket, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. Devil energy here. Also the burden. And grasshopper, situations in the balance that require careful handling. Yes, okay, so this is all coming toward you here for the month of March. So there may be love. Like I said with this person that you share a common, common ground with. Um, this could be if you're already in a relationship. This could be a healing of your relationship that's going to bring in and help you remember how much love that you have for this person. So... You know, it could be new love. It could be in a current relationship that love is starting to blossom again. You're starting to recognize the love. Also, I'm feeling like this is a self-love for some of my, pi my Aries. So self-love is coming in. Trust is coming in. Wish fulfillment. Knowing your worth is a part of that. So whatever resonates for you with that love you know, just tap into this because that is, this is a um, general reading. And so if you're interested in doing a personal reading, I do do those as well. And the casket, you know, is this, like I said, for February, I'm feeling like there was someone toxic in your life. Somebody that is leaving you because you no longer have a connection with them. And, um... This is, this is ending for you guys. It could be a situation as well that's kept you in this five of pentacles and ten of wands energy. The devil as well and not feeling that put you in that, in that vibe of uh, feeling lackful and burdened. So this situation is ending in your life if this is a situation. Um, feeling tied down or frustrated. So I'm feeling devil, the devil energy with that. So um, this is an illusion. You're not tied down. 
Um, you might be having um, difficulties because of these burdens that you've been having. The yoke and the burden, it's like they're both kind of burdensome. This is like a, a, a yoke is something for a cow or a bull um, so that he can do the plow work um, in a field. So this is a lot of a burdensome sort of a, um, a tool uh, that binds the animal to hard work. So this could be part of this um, burden, some emotions that you have here. But remember, this is an illusion. Tap into others to help you with these burdens. Um, look, uh, employ help from others um, to get you through this. Or just being able to say no, because that frustration can be stemming from the need to always feel like you you need to say yes to people. So remember, say no when you can't take on another thing. It's okay to say no. Um, all right, situations in the balance. So we did have a lot of balance here in the beginning of your reading. And um, so tapping into spirit, going within, resting is going to help you balance these situations and um, just use care, careful handling. Um, you know, I, I'm feeling like this is for a, a certain relationship perhaps in your life. And, um, you know, use, speak your word with love. And um, this will help balance out this situation. Love, trusting in yourself to deliver the message that you need. Um, f being faithful and modest is going to help you through this. Dropping the ego. And um, like I said, just tapping into quiet place and going within. Trusting your intuition is going to help you move through any negative energy that you are going to be coming up against in March. Okay, and this is all I'm seeing for you guys. I'm sending you lots of love and light, and we will see you in April. Okay, take care until then. Bye-bye.